hello everyone so today we are going to learn how to uh, support more than one language in your ios app so it's very common nowadays that you 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 are being asked by your clients that we need um, support for six language or seven languages because everybody wants to cover uh, whole of the world with different languages like france germany italy russia you know so uh, today i'll teach you how to support more than one language in your ios app the localization works in a way that um, if your device setting is set to for example French uh, from device settings and general then you know from the language section uh, you change the language to French uh, it will reboot your device change the initial language from English to French and in that scenario your app will also come up in a French version okay so let's create a demo so we call it localization demo and move to next we are creating a simple single view controller app so here we created a single view controller app <coughs> So this this process you are supposed to do at the end when you are done with your app when everything is ready in uh, in in your app like you know you you are done with your english version version of the app so at that moment you are supposed to do this so let's go to the storyboard and i create a single view controller with just you know four or five uh, labels or text uh, to to you know to to, to to explain you how to localize your app okay <clears throat> at first time storyboard takes time uh, new export version I'm using the latest one and it, it's a little bit slow because as you can see it's it's creating my git repository also uh, local git repository uh, so this is this is i believe this is um what do you say uh, this should be optional not you know mandatory like creating local git repository because it's not obvious it means every time you are not going to push your code on git repository or remote git repository this should be optional like in previous version of xcode it was optional so comment me uh, what are your opinions in this in this context that if, if it should be um, mandatory or it should be optional and also update me if you if you participated in lit them how they feel about the ide what what they are expecting next and it's taking I'm running on 8 8 GB RAM, but still, see, it's it's real slow. Don't know why. Um, maybe my my system is heavy because I also use the same system for Android development, and I'm soon going to start Android tutorials as well. Uh, I was a little bit busy from last two to three months, so this video is late for that same reason. Okay, finally, we got a label so what I do is I write hello world okay great and from here I create this great so let's move here and I place a text hello world <coughs> and set it to center great now I place next label with text how are you so let's do it how are you great and third label what you do for living
so as you can see we got three labels here now we start with the what you say um localization so now we have a storyboard in which we have um, what you say um this thing um three labels okay so let's move and let me find out they change the localization thing it was supposed to be here okay let's go here and great so here it is you are supposed to select your project not the target and in info it shows localization so now just um, click here and add fringe and main storyboard launch story launch screen storyboard add both and that's it now it it creates this main string fringe now you can see here are the labels now what you need to do is simply replace this red text with French version so what we are going to do is we are going to use Google Translator and here we type hello mostly you ask for this text from your client don't don't trust this translator like a lot you know mostly it's wrong when it's uh, when it's languages like Arabic and you know so I converted into French and it's it shows me this I copy this and I simply paste it here great and now I just copy this go to translator and here it comes I copy this and place it here now the third one here we go and here it is copy this paste and you're done that's all I mean when it's when it's you know uh, labels like this uh, the static labels in your storyboard it's done like this now what about the dynamic ones so for that you need to put a check like in your app delegate just go here create an object for ns local and equals to and s sorry ah it's too slow ns local auto updating current local okay <clears throat> so this gives us the local now if you want to you can you can you can identify the um, language by code or by again, what you say the exact word so here is the code local dot code Aba, oh, language code great now um, if you want the complete name like French so what you need to do is ns string language equals to local language string for language code code the one way so this language this language variable will give you uh, French in case of French like this so what you can do is now you can place um check like this for example uh, if i want to do it dynamically i'll simply go here and i'll create an object for app delegate unsafe unretained because i don't want it to be retained Oh, sorry. Shared application. 
actually um, something is wrong oh yeah shared application delegate okay now you place a check like this oh sorry uh, one thing we need to do is we need to copy this and go here go here do like this do like this non-atomic I am I use non-atomic I have done um, 140 plus apps and all of them I used non-atomic uh, property the reason being I never got a heap memory issue in my app I never got anything like you know using a, a random crash for bad memory or you know kind of those things those random crash because of memory uh, so I personally use this but it's okay if you want to use another if you think the another property is best you can go ahead uh, now what I'll do is say, oh we forgot synthesize so we are going to do synthesize language okay and here we just move this great now we are ready we are going to we need to save this now we are going here app dot language sorry is equal to string French means the device language is French else it's English so you can add as many languages as you want uh, now for the uh, what you say the dynamic text you can put this check wherever you are placing dynamic text and put uh, you know change the text to French version here and if it's English you can place the English version here so this is all about, this is all about the localization it's simple it's easy it's you know just to the point so and yes uh, please do comment and please do like my videos if you really like the videos if you really find them useful please do like the videos and subscribe to the channel it's just a small red button with subscribe written in written on it just press that uh, button uh, I'm not asking too much I'm just asking you to press a button so hopefully uh, I'll bring some more nice uh, tutorials for you and yes I'm going to start a uh, iOS training course for all you guys for all the interns out there so in case you you are interested to join those uh, training courses in which I will explain you all my tricks and tips I used in my apps I'll, I'll teach you I'll help you and uh, yes uh, the course will is not just like 20 days or 30 days it's going to be around three to four months because I don't believe in 20 days or 30 days anybody can teach you iOS right so it's going to be three to four months and in, in that duration I will teach you all the tricks and tips right with you one on one uh, using uh, communication mediums like Skype or any other uh, medium whatever you, you, you are comfortable with so uh, at the end thank you for watching and just subscribe the channel thank you